Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the selective color effect in Adobe Photoshop. So basically what the selective color effect is, is where you take an image and you only display uh, one specific color or colors in that tone uh, throughout the whole image and the rest of the image is black and white. Uh, a lot of people like this effect, it's kind of a fun little effect to apply on your photos so uh, Photoshop makes it really easy to do so I'm going to show you one of the quickest methods to do this and uh, you can follow along here. Alright so I got this car photo here and what I want to do is just highlight the car, highlight the blues and everything that has color in the car uh, but I want to take everything else around it black and white. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a selection. So I'm going to get my quick selection tool here and now I'm just going to go over the car and make a rough selection. It doesn't have to be perfect uh, but I want to get as much of the car as I can. And you can see over here, I haven't got the whole car selected, but you can see over here, I'm kind of selecting more on the outside. I'm just going to hold the Alter Option key and just remove it. And then continue to paint over the car. Alright, so there we go. We have our rough selection here. And what I'm going to do is I'm in Adobe Photoshop CC, so it could be different in your version of Photoshop. But I'm going to click the Select and Mask button here. And as you can see, it gives me an idea of what I selected, and you can see where I need to uh, kind of clean up a little, a little, a couple little things here. I'm just going to increase the radius a little bit to let Photoshop uh, do a little bit of its own magic here on the on the sides here. And now I'm just going to make sure my output method is select uh, is set to selection, and I'm going to click OK. And now my selection is refined and everything looks good. And here's where the uh, real trick is for this. Make sure when you after, after you have your selection of what you want to uh, have just the color in, make sure you inverse your selection. So I'm going to go to Select, Inverse. And what that does is take everything that you selected uh, and do the opposite of it. So now it's selecting everything but the car. And then this is where the uh, this is where you turn it black and white on the outside. Every, everything on the outside is going to be black and white. So you're going to go down the adjustment button here, and you're going to choose black and white. And as you can see, it automatically automatically takes things uh, that that uh, opposite of the car and turns it black and white. Now, one method you could do for this uh, instead of using black and white is to use the hue saturation adjustment here, which is this option right here. But I like to use the uh, black and white tool because it allows me to get uh, to to control the the colors even though I'm using black and white it allows me to control the colors that I selected so uh, let's say I'm in, um, I want to change the blues uh, in the in the black and white portion I can just take the cyan down you can see it's changing all the blues in the black and white not touching the car uh, but just changing all the colors here so I can just kind of mess with that and kind of edit the black and white portion and see what I can get out of it so I'm just gonna do a quick little edit here uh, darken up some things so right around there all right, so that's basically uh, turning uh, your your uh, selection tool here or your select method into black and white and still leaving color. But one thing you need to, to kind of just pay attention to when you're doing this is uh, make sure since we did a rough selection, go around the car pretty pretty uh, close and make sure that you got all of the colors selected here. So uh, as you can see, I'm, I kind of missed a little bit of the headlight. So I'm going to click on my adjustment layer. I'm going to get a, uh, a standard brush. I'm going to make the hardness about 50 and make sure my brush is black and I'm going to paint some of that back in there. So that's one benefit of using this method is that it gives you a layer mask and uh, you can go ahead and, uh, and, and refine things as you're going around the car and just making sure that all the colors are selected. So other than the headlight, it looks like it did a pretty uh, decent job. So that is quickly how you do uh, the selection, the, the uh, selective color method in Photoshop. It's really, really simple. And you can use this same method with any kind of color uh, and any kind of object pretty much. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial. Head on over to sleeklens.com for more photography uh, tips, Photoshop tips, Lightroom presets, uh, Photoshop actions, all that fun stuff. This has been Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll see you in the next video.